Hey guys, Eric here from worshipbanduniversity.com, and today we're going to take a look at how to set markers uh, in our template over here so that we can basically find different parts of the song when we want to create cues or clicks or even make a background track or something like that. So what we need to do is basically listen through our song and set these little flags, these little locators um, throughout the song. Uh, when I click set, you can see that a little flag popped up over here. Now I'm going to click it and drag it over to the beginning of this song because that's where it's starting. Now, every time I hit set, it's going to add a new flag where this orange marker is. So as the song plays, it's going to scroll through the song. So what I'm going to do is as it hits different parts in the song, I'm going to hit set and it's going to add a flag every single spot that I want it to. What I can now do is then right click on it, rename it, and then I can call it whatever I want. Uh, for this case, I'm going to call this an intro. Uh, in a little bit, you're going to see another flag over here where the whole band comes in. So maybe I'm going to put full band or build it up or something like that. we got a verse that's going to come over here, a chorus that's going to come up a little later on. So let's just take a minute or two. And what we're going to do is we're going to listen to uh, just the first half of the song. And we're going to mark it out so that I can add these cues later on. So let's take a listen. Great. So uh, again, we just did a little piece of that song, but I don't want to play the whole thing through. So now what I'm going to do is go back and mark these different parts of the song. Again, for instance, over here, now I didn't really need to do this, but what I did was I want to put a little part where we have a little build over here. We have this kind of lighter intro, then this is the part where the drums kind of kick in. So again, I can you know call this drum build up or really whatever I want to, just so that I know that this is a special part I'm going to want to make a marker for. Over here, if I right click over here, is where our verse 1 started. Down to marker 3 over here, I'm going to rename this to my chorus. And then over here, I'm going to rename that to verse 2. Now, I'm not going to waste time to do that for the whole song, but basically what you want to do is listen through the entire song and find any parts that are just important to you. Again, verses, choruses, bridges, solos, instrumental parts, maybe a spot that dies down, maybe something that's a cappella. Um, even too, you can even give your band cues of like, you know, maybe a spot where it's like a quiet part and you want your worship leader to say something. You can add pretty much anything to this um, so that, again, it can we can uh, add these cues in the background and we can follow along with them. So again, do this to a song or a couple songs and check out some of our next videos so we can see what next step we need to take. 